We always want the patient to know that they should be checking on occasion that they cannot flip the NTI out with their tongue or any um, pursing of the lips or anything like that. And if they do experience that, they're to call us right away so we can tighten that back up for them. So Danny just gave us a call recently and said that she was able to flip the NCI out um, without using her hands. Can you show us what you're experiencing at home? Okay, now go ahead and show us what you can do without your hands. At, there you go, and we never want that to happen. Um, and on the occasion too that when you're delivering the NTI, um, on the rare chance that it is a little loose just like that, again, same thing, we can do some simple steps to tighten that NCI back up for that patient. Again, impressions are critical. Um, the cervical third is very important in retention, so we wanna make sure in our impressions you can really see that cervical third of the tooth uh, when you send it to the, uh, to the lab to have your NCI fabricated. Okay, so we're going to mix up the acrylic that we're gonna place as a reline into this loose NTI. Um, Danny was complaining that it was loose on the lower right. So basically I'm gonna be placing the material in that area. One of the mistakes that a lot of dentists, including myself, make um, is that they just load this whole NTI up full of acrylic, thinking, well, that'll tighten it up. Um, what re where the NTI gets its retention is the cervical third of the tooth. So what we're gonna do is mix up our material and any acrylic that you have in your office will be just fine. Um, basically, um, snap, what have you, uh, all of it will bond really nice to the NTI material. So I'm going to want a little bit stringy of a, of a mixture there. Again, the key to a really nice retentive device is good impressions. Capture that cervical third. So here we are. This is kind of the consistency that I just love working with. Then I'm able to just put a drop in that cervical third there. So I'm just going to take a little wax spatula, just a little bead here, and go to the lower right segment. And I'm basically going to just add a little bit of a bead to the lingual and the facial aspects of the loose part of the NTI. You can see, I mean, it doesn't take much, really. One of the, again, don't make the mistake of adding a big, giant, long string of acrylic. That's not necessary. So just in the sections that it's really, really loose for her, I've added just two small beads on the facial and the lingual aspect there. And what I'm gonna do is deliver this into the patient's mouth. I'm gonna let it sit in the mouth for about one, maybe two minutes. You know your material best. Take it out and let it bench cure for about another two minutes and then see if this is retentive enough for Danny. Okay, I've added the reline material and I'm going to place it into Danny's mouth here. There you go, make sure it's fully seated. Go ahead and tap down. There you go, and just relax. I'm gonna let this set up in her mouth for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. You know your material best. And then after about a minute and a half, I'm gonna remove it and sit it on the counter and let it bench cure for another two minutes. Okay, so we've um, bench cured the relined uh, NTI for about two minutes now, and we've tried it back in the patient's mouth and it feels much better to her. So now that we know that we have the retention that we want, we can just clean things up a little bit. And uh, it's pretty simple, you only need about, uh, two things. One, a really thin acrylic burr and to maybe polish up a little green point. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, the acrylic burr and I usually set it around 20, 25,000 RPM. That's enough to get in there and take care of the excess. And I'm just taking off this excess acrylic and just blending it in. So I'm just removing the excess cold cure. And removing this excess here. I'm gonna use my green tip here. And blow out some of this mist material. I'm just going to go back over and just kind of polish things up. This can even remove a little bit too if you have some little extra pieces. 
You want to make sure with your thumb that there's not any spots that uh, would maybe be sensitive to the patient, any areas that they might find sharp with their tongue. And there we are. We have her realigned, tightened NTI.